Hey guys, I'm very excited today to show you a tool that I found that will allow us to quickly set up a live editing server for us. Have you seen those videos where somebody saves a file in their project and then the browser instantly reloads with their changes? Well, now you can achieve the same effect without all these complicated build tools and time you need to spend to learn about these tools. It's going to be a very easy tool where you don't have to do any learning. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a new folder for this project. Let's call this live reload server. And then let's go inside the live reload server and then create a few uh, folders. Let's pretend we have a um, H static HTML and JavaScript and CSS. So we're going to need a index.html. Sorry, we need to um, create the index.html and then we need to create some folders, a CSS folder and a JavaScript folder. So this will allow us to have a basic project set up. So we are going to also create a app.js. So all of this is to demonstrate um, how we can reload these files very quickly. The content of these files uh, should not matter. They should just be very simple. So now we have a basic uh, structure set up. Let me, let me just go to my favorite site, JSBin, and then grab the HTML to set stuff up. So I'm just going to call this my reload server. And then for the style sheet, we need to get it from CSS folder, style.css. And then we're going to include the JavaScript file. Be js app.js and now we have a basic skeleton setup so we are going to use this tool called live server by tapio on github this is a very nice node module that allows us to instantly set up a server to serve any static html and js and css file and then makes a live reload feature to it so to the installation is very simple all you have to do is do npm install. Here I want to install it globally so I can use it on any project I want. Now I want to make a note that this doesn't um, it, it doesn't require it does require Node.js on your computer, so you need to have that. And live server command can be used on any folder. So it could be a Ruby project, it could be a PHP project. As long as there's static HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, this uh, command can serve it. So we have the command installed, and let's give it a try. So if I do live server on the directory where my HTML files are, as you can see, it instantly starts a browser, and then it starts uh, in the server at port 8080. So now we have this set up. We can, let me quickly try to put something in here. So I want to grab my favorite image for Pentacode. This is our new logo, by the way. So if I do image source, so as you can, if I if I save this thing right here, as you can see, it's uh it's undefined. So that may be, let me see what's going on. But you see the server responded, right? Ah, so I guess um, this profile image. Oh, I've had a syntax error, so I need to close this thing here. Okay, now if I press save uh, in like, so the default uh, live reload setting is 500 milliseconds. So as you can see, um, it instantly reloads. Now let me add a h1 header to this thing. Live reload server. And as soon as I press save, as you can see, it instantly updates the the website for me. So same thing with CSS, like if I do a um, let's do a body background color black. So if I if I change the CSS file and then save it, you see it instantly updates. So let me just put it on maybe side by side so you can see it clearly. Um, let me take this out. 
So if I if I now my text is disappeared though. Let me change the color of my text to white. So I can like you know font size 50 pixels, text align center, font family sans serif. So it this makes uh, editing extremely quick and you can prototype stuff up really quickly. So I really like this. Um, same thing with JavaScript. You could do um, JavaScript updates and then the server will understand it and then it will update. You see, it instantly uploads the page, reloads the page and then execute the JavaScript. I don't have to do anything to, um, you know, to restart the server, you know, and refresh the browser page. You don't have to do any of that. So usually I use uh, Python simple HTTP server, but it doesn't have the reload capability that I'm looking for. So this repo and this tool is extremely useful for all that purpose. And it also has a lot of configuration uh, command line parameters. Let's say you don't want to run it on port 8080, you can just change the port to a different number or any IP address. So there's a, and even the, the wait time before it, up, it reloads, there's even an SPA, single page app mode. So this is very uh, robust. So I would highly recommend you to check this out. Um, uh, if if you want to thank the author, just give it a shout out. We'll start this repo. So this is it. This is a quick tutorial on how you can set up a live server on your computer. Thanks for watching my video, and thank you for your continued support for Pentaco. Visit the Pentaco website for more web dev articles, news, and tips and tricks. And be sure to subscribe to our social media channels to get updates regularly. I'll see you in the next video.